How's it going everyone? Tech here and today we are playing Besiege. Besiege is a vehicle contraption building game where you are given some parts and you are told destroy that or kill this or move that over there. In this case, as the title suggests under the video and probably why you clicked on this video, this is going to be the basic flying tutorial. If you are having trouble making a flying machine in Besiege, and let me tell you, everybody has. In fact, I worked hours, <laughs> maybe an hour today, trying to really figure this out, and I finally figured it out uh, thanks to the help of the awesome community. The Besiege community is awesome. If you pick this game up and you have any questions, they will help you out. But this is going to be the what in my opinion is the best base technology for a flying machine so let's uh let's just build a quick cross to show you what i am talking about so what everyone always wants to start out with is okay they got this and they saw that there's this spinning block here that'll just spin like mad and oh you've got these propellers make sure that they're oriented correctly pop them on there they're propellers and all of a sudden oh cool i've got a helicopter you might only be using one of these. Oh, cool. I've got a helicopter. Let's go. Yeah, it's flying. Sweet. Oh, I can't wait to see what... Wait, wait. Oh, it... It broke. Well, how am I going to bomb my enemies now? I will tell you. First of all, don't use these spinning blocks. These spinning blocks are awful. Oh, I'm going to switch to this just so it gets out of the way. These spinning blocks are awful. What you want to do... And if there's a better way to do this in the comments, or a better way to do this in the game, let me know in the comments. Go to Mechanical, because I'm not an expert. Mechanical, get the powered cog, and pop them on there. Now you're thinking, hmm, that might be a better idea, because now you have up and down control, and you want to be able to control your lift, because controlling your lift is kind of important. You don't just want your thing going all over the place and then dropping the bomb or crashing into something, because you won't actually have any control of your height. So that's the first thing. Then you say, oh, okay, so now that we have control, we can pop some blocks on here and then throw some propellers right like this. And now we have, see how it's not spinning? Now if I hit up, we go up. If I let go, we go down. Or I can push down and we go down faster, which is really cool. But we still have this problem. Uh, we're going up. Oh, yeah, we're sort of spinning, too, and we're broken and on the ground. What's cool about this design is if your propeller doesn't fall off, you can sort of fix it, but you're still going to be in a perpetual circle, uh, perpetual cycle of basically crashing into stuff. So how do you fix this? Basically, what you want to do is you want to have your propellers mirrored. So right now, they are uh, basically, they're obviously, they're not mirrored. S what it, what's happening right now is that the propellers are currently generating uh, downward force to push your... Basically, they're pushing the air downward to push your craft up. But the problem is, is because of, you know, just how the rotation works, you're going to corkscrew off. But if you hit, use F and flip these so that the propellers are mirrored, what you get is... Now, these propellers are pushing the air down... And these propel or these are pushing the air up, so it's putting downward force, and this is producing upward force. So what you get is that, which doesn't work. But there's one thing that I haven't told you, and I think you're smart. I know you're smart, <laughs> so you figured this out. All you have to do hit F on the rotating wheel. So now, if we slow this down, and I hit play, when I push forward, you'll notice that they are turning into each other. And now we have straight lift. The vehicle is staying perfectly straight. It's not corkscrewing out. We're getting plenty of height. Let's speed this up a little bit. We're getting plenty of height. It's turning a little bit, but that's because we don't have that control. But you notice how it's so much more controlled. And I can always let go. And we fall down to the ground, and I can sort of... I can sort of save it. There's not much I can do with this, because it's just a basic machine. But that is how you get stable flight. I do have a question for the community, though. If you have played Besiege and you uh, have figured this out, I want to know because I would love to be able to get this counter-rotating propeller on top of this propeller and have them spinning. Because right now, if we did that... Oh, excuse me. So right now, if we, if we did that, I wouldn't be able to... Actually, let's, let's try this. Let, let's experiment a little bit. Uh, let's go 
to actually I don't think I need I don't think I need that. Let's get another powered cog. Let's change the rotation of it. And let's um set the rotation speed to two. Let's do this for both. Uh this is this is just an experiment. Oh wait, hold on. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I want to flip this one. And then we can put another block. I may have just solved my own problem here, and I'm hoping this works. Put these propellers down. You get a propeller, and you get a propeller. And then you want those to be the same, and you want to flip these. So now, if if the math is right, these are spinning at one uh, at one time speed, and these are spinning at two times speed. So these should spin at one time speed the opposite direction? Maybe. Let's see. It kind of works. But then we get that counter rotation. Oh, because the, the bottom ones aren't spinning as fast. So that, <laughs> that won't work. I want to know what does work because I want to be able to have a single propeller and a tail. Maybe a tail fixes it. I haven't figured out how to do tails yet. Um, so if, if you know any information about that... Leave a comment down below. I'm going to leave you off here, make it a really quick, easy tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, again, ask them around. The Besiege community is awesome. I'm not going to have the, you know, make this yourself. Try it out. Experiment. That's what Besiege is all about. This game is really fun. If you want to see more Besiege on the channel, leave a comment down below. Uh, hit that like button, you know, to show me that you love me. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so that you stay up to date with more uploads coming out every day. Yes, every day. More Besiege, more other games. If you want me to play other games, you know, tell me. Let me know. Anyway, this has been Tech playing Besiege, and I'll see you next time.